So I know you're here because you want to improve your hip mobility and this is the perfect routine for you that you need that will really help you to improve your hip mobility which in turn will help with your squat, range of motion and other exercises like your lunge helping you to get nice and deep. So today we're going to focus on, on open up the hips through a variety of different mobility and stretches. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy this session and we're just going to get started right away. Okay, so the first exercise we're going to do, we want to warm up the hips a bit. So we're just going to do these stretches where, well, where I say stretches, these hip movements where you're going to come down, drop the hip, the leg down to the side, come up, next switch to the other side okay so really important cue make sure that you're nice and tall when doing this exercise try not to lean back keep up nice and tall and really try and bring the hips down from side to side so we're going to be completing 10 reps of this two Good, lovely. So the next stretch that we're gonna go into is simply the pigeon. So you're gonna turn your legs out to the side like so. And we're gonna do a few things. Number one, what we're gonna do first initially, we're gonna put our hand down on this knee. And what you're gonna do is press down on this leg. And what I want you to do, we're gonna do a bit of PNF. So you're gonna push up against the opposing hand that's on this knee, yep. So we're gonna do that and you're gonna hold for 10 seconds and then, and then release. Okay, so in three, two, one, and push up and push down. So consciously try and push your leg onto that hand and simultaneously trying to push the knee down to the ground. Okay, so this is gonna wake up the adductors, your inner thighs as well. You're gonna feel that tighten up. 10 seconds and release. Really important, your breathing as well, guys. Breathing is the key when stretching, if you haven't found that out already. <laughs> so we're gonna go again, pushing this knee up against the hand. Ready and go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good, and relax there. Next, in this nice 90 degree angle, remember to keep this leg behind you. We're just gonna go forward, down, and back up. Yep, just like this. We're gonna do this 10 times. Now nah, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now I want you to hold here. We're gonna hold for 15 seconds. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one good and relax shake it off good we're gonna maintain this position guys what we're gonna do with this back leg right that we have here we're gonna try and raise the leg up off the ground now, as you can see i myself too need to work on my hips flexibility and mobility but this is why we're doing it i'm here to help you guys and also to help myself to get into some improved range of motion here so what you're gonna do come down slightly raise the leg down up and down so we're going to do this about 10 times two three four five 
six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And relax there. Good. Now you would feel a little bit of pain, a little tension right at the side here, at the top near your hips, your adductors, right here. You feel a little bit of stiffness, a bit of uncomfortability. Now that's normal as you go on, that should start to loosen up as you improve on your range and also your um, flexibility also. So next what we're gonna do now, we're gonna place this leg behind and we're gonna hold the stretch front way. So we're gonna place this leg behind like so. And we're gonna hold in front, keep it nice and tall. Gonna hold here. 30 seconds. Twenty-one, twenty, nineteen, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And relax. Good. Now we're gonna do the same sequence on the other side. So you're gonna turn the leg opposite side in, just like so. And what we're gonna do, placing our hands here. Again, we're gonna push up and hold. You know the drill already, guys. Three, two, one, and push. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and relax. Good. And we're gonna go again. Ready, hold in here. Pushing down, three, two, one, and push. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one good lovely all right next one we're gonna lift this foot up now you'll always have there always be one side that you might find more difficult that's perfectly normal usually oftentimes we have a side that is either a bit more flexible than the other a bit more stronger than the other a lot of us do have imbalances but it's important that we work on both sides unilaterally unilaterally and also together okay so we're going to raise that leg as high as we can and if you can't raise the leg just imagine your leg raising up okay so try consciously imagine your leg raising up again at first it, you always have to start off from where you are okay so ready and raise one good two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Lovely. Staying in this position. Again, what we did on the other side is coming down and up. So again, getting used to feeling that pressure on the front leg, on the abductors as well right here in your hips and stretching out your piriformis as well. All right, so ready? We're gonna go down, three, two, one, and go. Down, 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 good lovely switching back going up on that leg keeping up keeping that leg flat behind and we're gonna hold upright 30 seconds 27 26 25 24 23 22 21 20 19 18 17 16, 
15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good and relax there. Good work. All right, next we're gonna go into the butterfly stretch. So keeping your legs in now. I know a lot of people have tight hips, so some people may start off here. That's perfectly fine. You all have to start, we have to start off from somewhere. Eventually you'll be able to bring your legs lower, okay? So what you're gonna do, do is go to the, the range in which you feel comfortable, bring those, legs in keep them feet together if you can shuffle in a bit more and what we're gonna do we're gonna rock the legs up and down so nice short bounces we're gonna do this for 30 seconds 30 29 28 27 26 25 24 23 22 21 20 19 18 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. We're going to hold. What you can do is grab your ankles on the side and put in your elbows on your thighs here. You're going to push down so push down and hold here 20 seconds 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and one good now back here what you're going to do is drop the hips from side to side so one side to one side 30 seconds here let's go 30 29 28 27 26 25 24 23 22 21 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 good holding back in and now we're going to push down up push down a little more harder really get that get that stretch and hold 20 seconds 20 19 18 17 16 25 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 good lovely and relax just there good we're gonna turn back around we're gonna keep this leg straight ahead and we're gonna bring this leg behind like so yep if you can't bring your leg behind like so just try and bring it to as far away as you can even if your leg is out like that it's fine just start off where you can Eventually, you want to be able to bring your legs back behind. Yep. And what we're going to do, we're just going to sit back here. Coming forward. Ten times. Good. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Good. Now turning to the side, you're gonna turn your body. Okay, you'll feel a bit of cramping here, maybe a bit of stiffness. You're just gonna hold here 20 seconds. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Going back to this position, what we're now going to do, the last one of this sequence, we're going to raise this leg, trying to raise it up and down. Yep. So we're trying to improve our range of motion, loosen up those muscles there. So we're gonna go for 10 reps. Three, two, one, and go. One. It don't matter how high you can raise it, raise it as high as you can. Yep, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, and relax. Shake it off, feel a bit of cramping, a bit of pain a bit. Let's relax it off, shake it off. And we're gonna go into the other side. So bringing that leg behind. Again, remember what we did, coming back and forth. Yep, ready and go. Good, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, lovely and relax just there good now we're gonna turn over to the side turn your body hold in here 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 five four three two and one good now back here now we're gonna raise the leg again as high as you can raise one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten good Bringing the legs forward. Good work. All right, now we're gonna stand up and we're gonna go keeping our legs wide like so. And what we're gonna do is going from side to side, dropping your body weight from here to one side over to the next side. I feel Heard a bit of clicking there. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. And then go side to side. Yep. So we're going to do this for 30 seconds. Again, this is good for the hips. Really opening up the hips. So we're going to start off high like this. And then we're going to go down lower. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Back here. Now we're going to go lower, coming down as low as we can. Now, if you can't get low, just continue with that first 
variation until you built up the flexibility and mobility to drop yourself a bit lower. Okay, so ready, let's go. You can use your hands here. If, you, if you're more experienced, you don't have to use your hands. You can come from side to side like that. For those of you who want, you can hold your hands on the ground, switch from side to side. Good, we're gonna do 20 seconds here. 18, 17, 16, 14, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Lovely. Okay, so we're soon there, guys. The next one we're going to go into is the frog, the frog stretch, yeah? So, a stretch that a lot of people find uncomfortable, but it's a really good stretch for the hips. You have to do this often enough for you to see the benefits of it. So what we're gonna do is place our legs to the side like a frog, bring your hands out like so, and we're gonna hold. First thing we're gonna do is rock forward and back. I'm gonna do this 10 times. So count from now. Good, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, hold here, 20 seconds, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good, lovely. Now we're just going to do some mobilization. So with the legs, how we lifted for those other exercises, we're just going to raise one side and then the other side. Good, 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, we're gonna go back to the hold, sitting back, Try and sink in a bit more deeper this time and hold for 30 seconds. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Slowly come out this stretch because there will be a lot of cramping feelings within your hips. And yes, and we relax there. Coming out, shake them off a bit, loosen up. Good. Okay, so this last one we're gonna go into, you're gonna cross this leg over and we're gonna hold on, keeping the leg slightly up, grabbing onto the opposing knee and you're just gonna pull in. 
yeah pull in as tight as you can we're gonna hold 30 seconds 29 28 27 26 25 24 23 22 21 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 good relax shake it off switch over to the other side legs down grabbing up and pulling in hold 29 28 27 26 25 24 23 22 21 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 relax thank you guys for tuning in that is a stretching mobility workout completed i hope you enjoyed this mobility stretching session if you did please drop a like drop a comment below let me know how you found it has it helped you to improve your mobility within your hips are you feeling you're able to get lower of your squat please let me know i'll be intrigued to let to know how this has done for you um, and be sure to subscribe i'll be bringing a lot more of this stretching series to you to help you to improve your flexibility and mobility i'll be actually be bringing some stretching connoisseurs which who are <laughs> a lot more flexible than i am to take you guys through a stretching workout and routine that will help you to obtain higher levels of flexibility and mobility within your joints so make sure you stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys in the next one have a good one peace